Digital video advertising is a rapidly growing interactive channel that offers dynamic targeting and consumer engagement opportunities. If you work in digital video advertising, you may have heard the terms VAST, VPAID, and VMAP. These are all technical specifications that make up the IAB Digital Video Suite, or V-Suite for short. These three specifications streamline video advertising operations, enabling advertisers to scale their campaign delivery process while increasing revenue opportunities for digital video publishers. In just a few years, V-Suite has been widely accepted among publishers, ad networks, and ad serving systems, opening up inventory and sales for digital video advertising. When you watch video on a computer or mobile device, the controls you use to play, pause, and forward the video are all part of what we call the video player. Digital video ads are called from third-party video ad servers by the video player and are inserted into the content stream. Seamless integration between the video player, the ad, and the ad server is critical for a smooth consumer experience. Before the standardization of video ad insertion, ads had to be custom programmed to the requirements of different video players. In order to scale campaigns prior to vSuite, advertisers were forced to make sizable investments in programming their ads for each player. This resulted in a poor return on investment. To solve this problem, IAB formed a working group of its member companies to create a common video ad serving template, or VAST. Over time, other specifications, including VPAID and VMAP, were added to remedy additional challenges in the marketplace. Let's take a closer look at the V-Suite specifications and what they mean to digital video advertising. VAST is the foundational specification. It was created to help advertisers scale their ads across multiple publishers and offers a structured method for ad servers and video players to communicate. VAST also enables basic ad tracking, which provides valuable consumer engagement metrics for advertisers. The next specification is VPAID, which stands for Video Player Ad Interface Definition. VPAID offers enhanced features that allow advertisers to create richer and more interactive video experiences that still scale easily across a broad range of consumer devices. For example, a consumer might click a VPAID-enabled ad to engage deeper with the ad's content. The ad's VPAID components could include an expanding ad that presents a mini game or a subscription form, pausing the content while the user engages. A VPAID-enabled ad could also show a movie preview, an educational tutorial, or some other video element to further enhance the ad experience. In the 2012 release of vSuite, a third specification was introduced to solve a problem unique to video distribution. VMAP, or Video Multi-Ad Playlists, enables a content owner to specify exact placement of ad breaks in situations where they don't control the video player. This ensures an optimal content viewing experience for the consumer. With VMAP, the number and placement of ad breaks can be defined by the content owner prior to distribution. Publishers now know where to insert their ad tags within the content. VAST, VPAID, and VMAP can each be used independently or in combination. The digital video market is growing, and implementation of these specifications makes the process easier for everyone, including content owners, vendors, publishers, agencies, and advertisers. To learn more about the IAB Digital Video Suite, visit iab.net slash vsuite.